Good morning, joggers. It is Sunday the 2nd of April. It's three weeks to go. And it's Southampton Half Marathon. One of my favourite events of the year. That said, I always have a real shocker. Never have a good one. Right, see you in a couple of hours. Ta-da! Hey, so welcome back to Fat Jogger TV. It is Tuesday the 4th of April, uh, 19 days to go to London, um, and Sunday's race turned out to be a bit of a blast, which is great, but more about that later. Um, first things first, thank you as ever to everybody for all the support and the fundraising and just getting behind the campaign. Um, we're about 2,700 quid in now. The um, original target was two and a half thousand pounds. Stretch target, 3,000 pounds. So we're in really good shape and I'm really, really confident that with a final push, we'll break that 3,000 pound mark. So if you have already sponsored me, thank you very much. Um, if you haven't done yet, then thank you in advance. And don't forget to spread the word and uh, let people know what we're up to. Um, but thank you as ever, really, really grateful. So, Sunday. Yeah, a bit of a blast, really. Um, I think I said on the, on the earlier video that Southampton Half is like one of my favourite events. It's probably, I think, the sixth one I've done now over the last seven or eight years. Um, but it's always been a bit of a bogey race for me. It's quite a tough course. Um, if you know the area, um, there's a bridge in Southampton called Itching Bridge, which is quite long and tall. And you have to do that twice, and then, and the final couple of miles is has got a long grinding hill that you've got to get through um, before you do sort of downhill at eleven and twelve. So I got around in one fifty nine, which is the first time I've managed under two hours in Southampton, which is great, really good, uh, and about fifteen seconds off my personal best, which was Winchester in twenty twenty one, I think. So really positive, um, but yeah, really funny. I went out really really slowly. And then got to like mile six, seven, eight, I think it was, and just felt great. Felt really, really good. So opened the taps a bit, started pushing. My watch was way off in terms of distance and stuff. So I gave up with that. Got to the nine mile, mark, nine mile marker, looked at my clock. It says 122, and I'm like, 38 minutes to do four and a bit miles. This is on recognising the hills and bits and pieces and started pushing and yeah got in in a 159 just inside so could have gone quicker I think could have probably have gone quicker I think a haircut would probably worth worth 10 seconds a mile if I'm honest um but yeah really 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 great day they do it really well Southampton half there's a 10k and a full marathon as well so if you are a runner um definitely recommend that you give it a go next year really really good but 19 days to go now. Um, pretty much all the work is done, I suppose. Um, there's not really a huge amount of difference I can make in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm probably three or four weeks behind where I wanted to be um, for London. But as you know, I've been had quite a few bits of illness and bits and bobs. And, uh, so we are where we are, we'll just deal with it. We'll hit London, we'll go out slow, we'll get round. Um, I haven't set a time, I just kind of want to get around, really. Know how it goes when we get there, but I'm sure I shall speak to you all uh, between now and then. But it will definitely speak to you all that weekend. But as ever, thank you for all the support and tune in soon and keep on plodding. Cheers, everybody. Thanks. Bye.